Um, Topsy Turvy Tottenham, well beaten by Fulham on Saturday. They had the chance to climb into the Champions League places. Didn't go their way. Uh, let's hear what Postacoglu said afterwards. I don't see fourth as a prize. This club's finished fourth before, it's finished second before. So you can throw all sorts of things at it. It's reached the Champions League final. You can throw all sorts of things at it, but this club has achieved things. So fourth is not my end goal. I don't want to finish fourth if we haven't grown as a team and developed as a team. And no one believes me, that's fine, because I think they, you know, part of the narrative is to try and push you into these kind of positions where you think that fourth is some kind of achievement that you gives you something for next year. It doesn't give you anything unless... Fourth would be great if I feel like we're, we're growing as a team and we've created something that's going to bring us success next year. But fourth is not our goal. It hasn't been. It's not my goal. It certainly isn't my goal. Um, interesting that he kept on saying fourth is not our goal and that if he doesn't develop a team that is challenging next year... I mean, he was almost saying, and he said it a couple of times, if you look at the as a transcript, he says over and over and over again in that post-match press conference that he doesn't care about fourth and that all his interest is producing a team that performs well enough to challenge next season. What do you make of that analysis? I, I, I make it as a response to the characterisation of the question that he's been asked because they will be positioning it as Tottenham Hotspur's raison d'etre is to get fourth. And whilst it's not doesn't make an inordinate amount of sense what he's saying to some extent because they've just lost to Fulham to stop them from going from fourth and fourth would be a very useful position for him to be in because he'll get more money from Daniel and they'll kick on and they'll play Champions League football and it's all that goes with it, attract better players. But he said earlier on in the season when he came on here and did a, a discussion with myself and Jim that there is no ceiling as far as he's concerned. So he's what, talking about winning the title there, is what, he? But what he's talking about is the same thing in a different way that he spoke about after the Chelsea game when they went down to nine men. This is about breeding a culture in this football club. Don't be under the illusion, players and owners. <clears throat> I'm here to uh, make to Tottenham competitive. I'm here to win things. I'm not here to just simply put us in fourth spot and everyone can pat themselves on the back and everyone thinks that's good. I don't think it's good. Of course he thinks it's good. Of course he'll be happy to be fourth in the Premier League. But he's also setting his stall up by changing a culture. And the point that he made, about, about, you know, I'll play this way, I'll go down to nine men and I'll still play the way I played against Chelsea because that's not what he's going to do. What he's trying to do is get a culture into these players and understand that once they understand the direction of travel, then they can start being multifaceted and play different ways of, of football and manage games and be a bit more pragmatic at times. But clearly at Tottenham Hotspur for years, however it's manifested itself, whether it's a Spursy tag or it's because there's a tacit acceptance from the owners about what is perceived as success, or it's because... Ultimately, the managers they've had in place have had different ambitions and aspirations. That for Tottenham Hotspur, being a, a, a winning opportunity is competing in Europe. For Ange Postacoglu, that is part of the journey, but it is not the destination. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. Now, does it blow back on Tottenham in terms of what they're going to spend? People can read it that way if you want to. Or does it just simply make him judge himself by a higher set of standards that means that people are going to be very quick to evaluate when he doesn't when he comes up short? Mm. I think I think it's I think it's strong from a manager. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Was, is, was he being strong? Is, is he right to suggest that fourth isn't uh, the be all and end all? I take Simon's points entirely, but I, I'm I'm not widely sure really because if you have if there is such a thing in football as a project and that you were given this time to do it. Let's say... Which you say, clearly, by the way, you're saying it, don't believe exists. I, I'm, I'm, I'm rather cynical about it because I, I don't think it exists. I, do, I don't think it is. I think it's, it's the here and now. Yeah. You have to win football matches. You have to win. Now, if you set out Tottenham Hotspur just lost, they've got a new manager and they've just lost Harry Kane to Bayern Munich. I think if any, if you were to ask any Tottenham fan at the start of the season, open up August, that Tottenham Hotspur would finish fourth, they'd say that's absolutely splendid. Really, really terrific effort. Okay, so Poch or, sorry, uh, Postacoglu comes in and says that's not his aim. And that is very commendable. It's really terrific. But it, 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 if I was a manager now and I was Postacoglu and they've given me fourth, I would take that because then you, you're you something to build. It's as if to say... It's a step forward. It's a, it's a step forward and it's into Champions League football. That's the main thing because that's that's the ultimate aim to, to try and win the Champions League. And by doing that there, you have to qualify for it. So this is my point. He If he, if they finish sixth there, 
is, is, is a, a sort of a self-defence mechanism to say, well, we finished sixth, it was really, really great effort. That's not our aim. And of course it's not. The Tottenham fans don't want to hear that sixth is their aim or fourth is their aim. They want to feel as if with the new stadium, one of the best in the world, that they are going to have a team now to be really proud of over the next couple of years. They are going to get That's, beat like this though every now and again though, because of their I'm risk not, and I, reward I, style. I, I, I wasn't even talking about the, the defeat to Fulham. I'm not talking about that at all. I'm talking about your overall position of where they could finish this season. And if they finish fourth, if I'd be, if I, I, if I had taken over at Tottenham Hotspur in the August time and someone said, you're going to finish fourth losing Harry Kane and you're going to have to rebuild and you're going to put a, a, a new emphasis into the team, which he has done and done admirably. It's really great. I would have taken that. Uh, we might talk a little, go on. Do you want to say Well, I'm just saying that I, I also think that you have to understand the characterisation of the question because what we're hearing is the reaction. You where, keep blaming the media. Well, no, I'm not blaming the media. I'm suggesting that you have to listen to the... Inf- we, we, we are very good at taking clips from somebody and then and then saying that's the full extent of the person's response um, rather than the nuance and context. If somebody keeps banging into him, right, he's here at Tottenham Hotspur to win things. Whether he can or not is a different matter. And I quite admire the fact because I get tired of football managers constantly hedging, protecting their own interests because they don't want to go balls out he's yeah. going balls out so with that in mind you have to admire that you might think it's naive you might think it's not particularly self-protection based but somewhat so what but if the question is full 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 and he's going i'm a winner i want to win things so he's getting irritated with this constant he didn't observation quite say that though did he he didn't quite say it he sort of said i don't fancy fourth but i want to be challenging he didn't say I, I, my my idea is to go and win the premier league he didn't say that no but notwithstanding that, that his, 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 his idea his raison d'etre his, his 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 achievements in his mind's eye and i think his his gift to say it is i'm not seeking fourth I'm seeking better than that. And if you want to make it all about fourth, fill your boots. Hmm. I'm not going to. I'm going to make it about being successful. And my definition of success is bigger than fourth. Now, you're right. You stopped short of saying my definition of success is winning the Premier League. But I quite like the fact that he's quite forthright in his ambitions. And I do believe it's about cultural changes. Cultural changes. And they to, certainly to, achieve that. To de- well, they change the style of play. But the perception of it is now it's about winning. So changing the style of play is great, but then the next thing you've got to do is win with that style of play and mm. win something significant. Yeah. And he wants to do it now, whether it's a message to Daniel about his ambitions and they need to be backed up by finances, or whether it's an, a, a message to the Spurs fan base, let's not accept good football, let's demand winning. Let's demand of me that I produce a winning side that wins. And winning, to me, isn't fourth. It's part of the journey. It's not the destination. Yeah, but okay. my, my, my point was that the fourth in your first season there is a, good step. Mix, is a really, really good step. We'll come back and maybe talk a little bit more about Postacoglu and other managers who had a, a, a few issues with uh, post-match interviews over the course of the weekend. And we'll talk to Martin about the pressures of doing those in just a moment. You're listening to TalkSport. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.